Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of someone who's having regrets. They're looking back at the past, and they are uh, feeling quite depressed over it. They're feeling pessimistic. They're wishing things were different, and they are uh, kind of having a bit of a pity party, crying over spilt milk. They, they can't seem to get past what happened in the past. They feel very disappointed and um like they they took a major loss especially emotionally so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say we have the two of pentacles earth energy the death card in the reverse scorpio energy and the tower in the reverse mom energy so they could feel like this unfinished business they this this situation is haunting them it's lingering for them they aren't ready to let go they're very stuck and they actually want this connection back. They, they, they're not ready to move on or to release it. Um, this is someone who wants to revisit this. They feel unfinished business. At the same time, though, they do go back and forth about whether they should, you know, um, you know, address the fact that they feel this unfinished business or not. This is someone who is um, feeling unsure and hesitant. So let's clarify these cards, um, Aries. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is, again, this person is watching you. They're paying close attention to you. They're thinking a lot about you. And, um, you know, they, they are contemplating whether they should say something because they have a lot they want to say, and you're constantly on their mind. Um, this is someone who may have showcased a lot of emotional immaturity when you did deal with them. They didn't uh, handle the situation well and they regret how they handled it. They they may have taken a, an approach like playing mind games and they, it didn't work out in their favor and now they regret that they took that approach. Okay, so let's see. We have the Seven of Wands, Fire Energy. We have the Sun, Leo Energy and the Eight of Cups, Water Energy. Yeah, it looks like you walked away from this person. They are viewing you as having had abandoned them. Um, this is someone who is seeing you as being the one that got away. Something about your departure really hurt them. But they are viewing you as someone who stood their ground. Like you freed yourself. They seeing you as having a lot of self-respect and dignity. Um, but at the same time, it's they feel as if it was to, you know at their expense because now they lost you. Um, but this person, they also do remember the good times you shared, but it's very bittersweet because they, it's at the same time, they are remembering that you walked away from them. So this is someone who is currently, they're fighting themselves, they're fighting their demons. They don't know what to do, but they're very stuck on you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Aries.
Okay, we have bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Okay, so this is someone who is realizing that they still love you. And um, they're being very honest with themselves about their feelings. Um, they may wish to be able to be honest with you about where they stand right now. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay, so I'm gonna put another card. we have youthful love if i had a single flower every time i think of you i could walk forever in my garden so, so this person thinks about you all the time they're very stuck on you and they are thinking about how much they still love you um this is someone who feels like they didn't handle the first time around correctly they may have been too immature to appreciate what they had until it was gone okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice Okay, so we have surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and supports will arrive. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.